tail of two halves there, and especially in that second half, it seemed like the pace slowed down a lot. <laughs> yeah, I didn't anticipate that. Um, we were working pretty hard defensively. Uh, we had some good a few good stretches in the first half defensively when we didn't finish it. You know, we built like a, I think an eight or nine point lead late in the first half and, and just had a horrible stretch there uh, to end the first half. Second half, we came back out and, and uh, we got 10 straight stops at one point. And they scored 17 points in about a 13 minute stretch. So we took away their you know, transition and, and easy buckets and, and work, we were working pretty hard defensively. That was good to see. Obviously, we've been continuing to talk about the need to do that. And, uh, really proud of the fact that we were able to do it for quite a quite a stretch there in the second half. How about the rebounding? You guys had a huge advantage on the boards, especially offensively. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I started looking at those numbers. Somebody said it's a program record for total rebounds. I don't know what that's really reflective of, other than we were pretty active. I mean, A-Tim, I thought clearly his energy was good. Each, each of our big guys had a stretch, I thought, where, where it kind of felt like, well, he needs to be in the game, and he needs to be in the game. That's, that's a great feeling. Um, A-Tim in the first half was, was good. Uh, Luca had a stretch where he was making some baskets. So that was good. Uh, Adrian gave us good energy. Byron, Byron, you know, just always have so much trust in him. So, uh, and Jacob was fine. So, uh, all those guys just just chased after balls. Javon had a bunch of rebounds. So, not, not sure what what that's indicative of, but uh, it was good to see the offensive rebounds for sure. At halftime, we talked about that. I think they had four offensive rebounds to our 19 defensive. We had 12. 12 offensive to their 14, so I knew, we were, I knew we were doing a good job on the boards. Coach, what, uh, you got uh, Western uh, coming in here uh, Saturday afternoon. What would it mean to you right now to be able to, I mean, they're a dang good team. What would it mean to knock them off and get both of these, get a little momentum going down the stretch? Uh, because it's the last game of the, of the first first round, and it's a home game, and we're coming off this one, regardless of who the opponent would be, it would be very important to us. The fact is Western, and they're having a great year. Uh, adds even more to it. So yeah, we'll, we'll be excited. I was really, really happy with the, the way our guys, again, came in this week. Um, we made a little, couple little adjustments. We did less switching tonight than we've ever done before. Um, so I was a little uncomfortable doing it. We just felt like it, maybe that was the thing that would give us, uh, give us a chance to take a step defensively. So I really, really liked the way we handled that. We were ready to play some zone tonight and just, just never felt like we needed it. So um, the guys are, guys are, you know, proud of what we worked on this week and a good win tonight come back tomorrow and see if we can go uh, get after western on saturday how's, how's keaton doing it looks like he took a hit there at the end yeah i, I think he got banged in the head or the side of the head I, I think he's okay yeah he was he was talking and, and celebrating in the locker room there but he, he might have a headache i don't know you but guys, I, I don't know I, I, I think it was a shoulder not the floor yeah you guys couldn't really get the shooting going what was the no. challenges offensively no they just, they climbed, we took a lot of hard shots, a lot of hard shots. Um, they forced everything to the outside. We didn't handle that very well. Didn't get the ball back to the other side. We just got stuck, you know, playing kind of a two-man game on the one side. We just get a, give that a quick look and then, and then move on to the other side and get a cutter. Just very stagnant. Um, you know, West is a good on-the-ball defender. They just they really, really smother the ball. They trust their length inside, uh, shot blockers. and. So they smother the ball out on the perimeter. Kinsey's length affects you know the guys that he's guarding. Um, that, that primarily was what affected uh, Javon and Keaton. And we just took too many hard shots. Thank you. Thank you.